Hi everyone! Sorry for the delay, I'm still working out a lot of things on the side and it'll be a while before things are consistent again. Today's art is of a character called Cleo. I made her to play in a fairy themed tabletop campaign. While the campaign was short lived, it lasted long enough for me to design a character and create this piece. Sometimes I struggle with creating new characters and for a long time I was very focused on my character Jade. She was a Rise of the Guardians OC and a Darkling Princess. I was very prone to play as her, as well as make art mostly of her. When I was invited to a new tabletop campaign, I was allowed to play Jade as a Drider, half Drow, half Spider. Since I love spiders so much, it was a fun time. But Drider Jade sort of took on a life of her own and became a separate person. I realised she was someone else entirely now, so she needed a new name. Since she was a spider who loved to wave, original, I know, I thought of the myth of Arachne, and after a lot of discussion with my friends, decided on a variation of the name. Arachne was born. When the fairy themed campaign began, Arachne was always on my mind, so I decided to make a spider themed fairy. To help her fit in with the other flower based fae, I named her Cleo. This was based after the spider flower, whose scientific name is Cleo. This was so she wouldn't be confused with Rackney. The idea of a spider themed fairy was so fun and inspiring to me. I began my first sketches when I was in the session. Designing the clothes was the best part. The stockings and the dress were my absolute favourite things to come up with. In the world of the tabletop itself, things were not going well. Food was scarce, water had stopped flowing, and animals who had previously spoken with the fae fell silent. The fae courts were in disarray. Our team had come together to try and fix these problems. We started at the Gingo Tree. The grand leader of the fae, the Arabella, resided within the tree and couldn't leave its trunk. The fae courts were gathering around the tree to feast and celebrate and attempt to lure people in to be recruited. This is where the campaign started. We decided to fix the water first. The party journeyed into the forest and found trees covered in thick spider webs. The deeper we travelled, the thicker the webs became. Cleo, of course, was delighted with this. Towards the centre, however, we found a young rabbit boy and a horse trapped and about to be eaten by a giant spider. When the party pacifist tried to speak to the spider, it fled, allowing us to free the pair. We learned the boy's name was Lamia. Though throughout the entire campaign, my character insisted on calling him Bunny Boy. He was trapped while seeking his master, a blind tiefling named Jean. Jean had adopted him after Lamia's parents had joined a cult and abandoned him. Not long after, we actually found Jean, who joined us on our mission. Near the tree that was the key to fixing the water, we found a hut inhabited by an elder fae known as Lady Selpa. She recognised Jean and offered to help at the party. Taking strands from the water tree we needed to fix, she tied one strand around each person's wrist to offer her protection. After that, we entered the tree. Inside the tree, there were many, many rooms, each containing puzzles to solve. In the centre of all these rooms, and the centre of the tree, we found the cult that Lamia's parents had joined, as well as June, one of the Fey Lords cornered by the cult. We we did our best to free her. It was a lot of combat and screaming and spells and things not working, mostly because of an invisible barrier that stopped us. The cult wounded June with a strange blade which caused her to become corrupted. The corrupted version of June flew off. Jean, who was very close to June, was quite upset and started to cry tears of blood, which freaked out my character a little. However, when we left the tree, it, it was raining, so the water problem was fixed. One positive thing out of that mess. That was about as far as we got with their campaign. We had to stop the campaign because of a lot of real life interpersonal conflict that came up and got in the way. But it was fun while it lasted, and I'm very proud of the art that came of it. I still make Cleo references these days. To learn more about Rackney or Jade, or to see art from previous campaigns I've participated in, check out more videos on my channel, especially the series of calendar pages. 
that's it for today's video. Stay safe, stay kind, and stay creative. I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. I tend to post every Tuesday and Friday at 2am Australian Eastern Daylight Time or 9am Central Standard Time. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Please comment if you have something to say. And if you want to see more speed prints and animations, please subscribe. A very special thank you to my patrons, Dean G. If you want to support my art and see things first, become a patron in the link below. And please make your day a wonderful one. Goodbye!